Hi, it's Lizelle Green from the Mill Valley Arts Commission, and I'm here with John Wood at the Desta Gallery. Hi, John. Hello, nice to see you. Seeing you. I like your shirt. <laughs> Thank you. I have a vote on my shirt, and it's so important right now. John's yeah. going to tell us a little about, a, about his work. Um, most of this work has been done just this year, and, and most of it has been um, while I've been sheltering in place. So it's uh, very much about the experience uh, that we have all been sharing um, about these crazy times. Um, I, um, I think this piece behind me is um, uh, particularly appropriate for this show. It's, um, it's called Still There Is Light. And even though there's a lot of darkness going on right now, I find that there's a certain um, really appealing optimism that this brings also. And that's where the light comes in. Um, and I think that's true of most of the pieces in the show, that there's, um, there's darkness, but there's also optimism. And um, so I never really know what my work is gonna be. Um, I heard a little bit about Catherine and, and that she thinks about um, landscapes. I don't think about anything in particular. I um, uh, let the work lead me wherever it's gonna go. And, um, it's had a lot to do with my dreams, maybe. It's had a lot to do with the fact that um, we're experiencing a very strange time. And, uh, and it also gives me the sense that, you know, we will get through this and that life will get better and, um, and will be better when it's all over. So that's, that's, uh, that's where I am. Um, a couple of these are specifically in re reaction to um, yeah, I think most people that I've been talking to have had this experience. They've been having very, very strange dreams during this um, isolated time. And uh, the, the last piece of the, um, on this wall is called Beset by My Dreams, or My Dreams Beset Me, I guess. Um, and um, I think that's um, kind of what it's about. I, my, my work, when, it, when things like strange dreams happen to me during the night. They show up again in my art during the day. And that piece is very much like that. I did another one that was particularly about dreams. Um, it went to a collector in St. Martin, uh, who has uh, collected a lot of my work over the years. But they saw them, they loved it. And, and um, um, we had a conversation about the fact of how dark it was. And I said, I hope you see the optimism. And uh, she said, well, Absolutely, we see the optimism, and if it weren't there, uh, we wouldn't have it in our house. You know, they have three little kids, so they they appreciate the honesty, but they also appreciate the optimism. John, can you just briefly tell us a little bit about the? I'm thinking this is the layers of the layers you're using here, or is that the right term? Um, my work typically starts with drawing um, with graphite and it, uh, sometimes uh, until lately it, it always started with work with a model but now I can't work with a model so I don't have that option. Uh, but the drawing underneath um, is what begins with the process and then after that there's um, layers of color that are added. Sometimes the color is scraped off and the drawing underneath shows through. Sometimes I um, add more things on top of the script part. Um, um, and eventually the piece, the piece just tells me when it doesn't need any more. And uh, I'm often asked, how do I know when they're finished? And, and I, I know they're finished when the art itself doesn't ask me to do any more to it. So there are very often parts of it that seem unfinished, but um, they, the drawing says, the painting says, um, it's okay, I'm fine with the way it is. Um, that's what happens. So. Thank you so much. You have to come down here and see all of this work in person. Thank you, John. Thank you.